Greetings, this is Edward Ojumbo. In this tutorial, the numeric data type will be manipulated using JavaScript. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. So, in JavaScript, simply assigning a value will indicate the data type. So, in this example here, this is going to be an integer because we assign an integer value. The numeric data type can also be a float. So it can be an integer or a float. And the float, same thing again, as soon as you put a float, this will become a float automatically. JavaScript also has built-in functions for manipulating numbers. We'll use some of this in this tutorial. Ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript course web IDE will be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. So let's begin. You can copy and paste using Control C and Control V. Uh, I'm on Linux here. Into your, the uh, web IDE. So we create a float equals 11.11. .11. And then what you, I'll use alert. My int. And I'll also alert the, if you want to know the data type, you use type of my end. You can also use the console where it will print it on the output below. So that will use that for the float part. So ten because this int is 10 and the type of or the type the data type is number and down here you see the float was 11.11 .11 and the type is number i'm going to clear this simply because i just just so you'll be able to see everything i'm doing so next thing we're going to do is casting we're going to cast integers so select int 1 equals number you'll notice because I'm using double quotes that actually makes it a string but if we use the number it will then become a a numeric a string uh, sorry an integer sorry so do another one we can also use parse int 3.0 you only use the first number numeric value it gets which will be 3 and finally, number 9. So then we I'll just use the console here. Console.log int 1. Console.log int 2. Console.log int 3. So it's 5, 3, and 9. Next, we'll do the same thing for floats or decimal numbers. Use number again. And this will be parse float 3.0, number 9.0. And then I'll use the console.log float1. Float 2, Float 3. So I made a mistake here, I can't figure it out, so I'll just continue. The best way to do is you just clear is to refresh the page. Okay, we're back. So we can also, uh, we're going to go to 
integers integer integer numbers so we say int 1 equals 5 int int 2 equals 3 int 3 equals negative 9 then we can simply just print this out Five, three, and, and one. Next, we we'll do floats. So this would be float one, float two, float three. Zero, zero, dot zero. So this would be float 1, float 2, float 3, and so down log, float 4. We're going to create another float, float 4 equals, we're going to use explanation, uh, dot one e ten see down here now we're going to manipulate these numbers sorry about that uh, there was a <laughs> customer calling all right and now I have some chickens making noise in the background sorry about that again hope you can't hear them okay numbers so console.log already use parse int, but I'll use numeric values this time. Console.log pass float finally pass float to fixed so you see this is 10 this is also 10 and then 10.00 because I put to fixed You can get the full article at ojumboshop.com oh sorry, ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen numeric hyphen data hyphen type and all the all the numeric functions or the methods you can use are here with some examples. The code snippet we ran today is here. This is screenshots of the web ID. This is the video watching. You can get the learning JavaScript jumboshop.com course oh there's also python and php courses if you prefer to learn differently uh, using ebooks without the built-in ide or the programming language itself there's the learning python ebook and learning php ebook they're available at amazon if you prefer one-on-one -on -one, uh, tutorials you can get that or jumbo or jumbo.com or jumbo services.com sorry the references are all here uh, for the courses, the ebooks, and or Jumbo services that come. They're also in the links are in the description of this video. So if we go to ojumboshop.com, see the learning JavaScript course, you can get 20% off until the end of 2024 using the promo code SCHOOL. If you go to Amazon, you simply type in Edward Jumbo, and then you can go and you can get the learning python uh, ebook if you have kindle unlimited for free otherwise for both learning python and learning 
PHP, they're just a nominal fee and you can install them in any of your favorite e-reader. If you go to jumboservices.com, as I was saying before, if you want a one-on-one -on -one tutorial session for programming, office software, other type of software, I can do that for you. You can also get a free quote if you prefer uh, custom applications for all the major platforms. Or if you have a website, maybe you want e-commerce, or maybe you want to migrate, or maybe you've been hacked, maybe you want PCI compliance or logistics, maybe payment processors, shipping, can help you with that, or even chat services. Uh, simply request uh, get in touch today. If you're in North America, direct uh, you can do the toll free or anywhere else around the world, you can do a direct dial. Preferred method is to go to the contact page, fill in the form, and get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.